What's up guys, Chadzilla here with Triforce Gaming here, and we just finished up watching a fresh new April Fool's edition of Nintendo Direct. Make sure to pound that like and subscribe for more awesome videos, and no, that's not a joke. Just do it. So this Nintendo Direct started off with a new trailer introducing Mewtwo to Smash Bros. We got the first glimpse of his moves and how he will play, which looks to me a lot like Melee. We also get to see his final Smash where he evolves into Mewtwo Y. He'll be available for free for those who registered their games at Club Nintendo and $3.99 to purchase him outright. He'll be available shortly on April 15th for Club Nintendo members and April 28th for everybody else. Nintendo is also updating Smash Bros. on April 15th for character balancing and Mii outfits for $0.75 cents and $1.15 respectively. And for what I believe to be the biggest announcement of the event, Lucas is coming back to Smash Bros. And Nintendo also released a small gameplay trailer for him that you can see in full in the Nintendo Direct. And if you're an amiibo collector such as myself, your wallet is going to be hurting after this Nintendo Direct because there were a bunch of new amiibos announced. And a new mini game ish app for the Wii U is being announced uh, called Amiibo Tap, where you pretty much tap an amiibo and you can play a tidbit of an old uh, NES Nintendo game, which will be available in spring. Then Iwata went on to talk about Mario Maker and the 30th anniversary of Mario. They noted how the game can be switched to four different art styles from previous Mario games. Also, you will be able to upload and share your creations with friends online. The game is scheduled for September. The beautiful Yoshi's Woolly World got a new trailer and a small bit of information. You can switch between classic mode and mellow mode depending on your skill. Also, there were new Beanie Baby-esque Yoshi amiibos announced for the game that add a second Yoshi and other things. The game releases in the fall. Next up is Splatoon. Not much was said about it other than two new game modes, Ranked Battle and Battle Dojo. And again, Nintendo announced amiibo lines for Splatoon. You can purchase these characters in a combo pack or separately. Nintendo 64 and Nintendo DS games are coming to the Wii U Virtual Console. If you already own the N64 version, there's a $2 upgrade fee. N64 games will be from $9.99 to $11.99, and DS games will be from $6.99 to $9.99. Yoshi's Island DS and Super Mario 64 are available now, with a list of others being available this month. A whole list of indie games made an appearance with standouts such as Octodad, an updated Mutant Muds, Don't Starve, and a slew of other side-scrollers. Fatal Frame is finally coming to the States on the Wii U with updated gameplay features. And there's also a Tetris-like game for the 3DS called Box Boy. And another Pokemon spin-off called Pokemon Rumble World. We got a bunch of anime JRPGs that I thought were only releasing in Japan. We're getting a Mi Plaza update that adds Battleground Z and Ultimate Angler at a $4.99 apiece, and a premium version that's pretty much a birthday calendar that is another $4.99. A new Xenoblade 3DS trailer. There's a new game, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, that's getting its own line of amiibo cards. And lastly, we got an update on the Mario Kart 8 DLC that is now coming on April 23rd, so it got bumped forward. Um, also, Patman's birthday. That comes with updated amiibo support and a new faster 200cc Grand Prix Cup, all available for $7.99.